What's up guys, this is Masid, welcome to another video. In this video, I have a buffered solution pH calculation. I have four different buffer solutions with four different concentration. And I'm going to show you how to find out the pH of a buffer solution. And these are all related to acetic acid and sodium acetate. Acetic acid is the weak acid and sodium acetate is the salt of this weak acid so acetic acid is h c2 h3o2 when it reacts with water since it's acid is proton donor so it's gonna be c2 h3o2 minus plus hydronium I. Since it is a weak acid, we have reversible reaction and we need to define the Ka. We need to check it in the table. The Ka is acid dissociation constant, which for this acid is going to be 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. So now I'm going to have ice table. Acid, the concentration is 0.1 molar of acetic acid. So I'm going to write 0.1. Here, the conjugate is coming from this sodium acetate because sodium acetate is going to dissociate completely to its ion. So the concentration of acetate is going to be the same as the concentration of sodium acetate. So it's going to be 0.25. What about the concentration of hydronium? The concentration of hydronium is going to be approximately equals to zero why approximately because it's 10 to the power of negative seven you know the concentration of proton times concentration of hydrox uh, hydroxy radical it's going to be equal to 10 to the power of negative 14 so the concentration of hydronium or hydroxyl group is going to be 10 to the power of negative seven so 10 to the power of negative seven is very small comparing to this number so i consider it as zero change for the reactant is going to be negative x and the product is going to be plus x and plus x so we have 0 0.1 minus x 0 0.25 plus x and 0 plus x is going to be just x then i'm going to have ka which is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 equals to 0 0.25 plus x times x these are the Concentration of products divided by concentration of reactant, which is 0.1 minus x. Since it's a weak acid, this dissociation percentage is going to be very low, so I can neglect x comparing to 0.25 and 0.1. So x will be 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 times 0.1 divided by 0.25. which is going to be 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So that's the concentration of hydronium ion, mole per liter. So pH will be negative log 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6. That will be 5.1. I could also use Henderson Hasselbach equation. Henderson. That's the shortcut. I don't really like to use it, but that's the gonna be the alternative method. So we can say pH equals to pKa plus log of concentration of base divided by concentration of acid which is going to be pH. pKa is going to be negative log of Ka, which is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. That will be 4.74 plus log. Base is 0.25. Acid is 0.1. That's going to give me 4.74 plus. That's going to be 0 0.4. It's going to be 5.14. It's going to give you the same number. Now let's see the second part of this question. I'm just going to keep this one in here. 
it says calculate the pH of this buffered solution when we have 0.25 molar acetic acid and 0.1 molar of sodium acetate. So let's get into this part. So I can say X, which is going to be equal to the hydronium ion concentration, equals to Ka remains the same as the dissociation constant. Acid concentration is 0.25, and this one is going to be basically it's 0 0.25 minus uh, 0.25 minus x. So we can cancel that, and here in the denominator, I'm going to have 0.1. So that will be. Four point five times ten to the power of negative five, which will be pH will be negative log four point five times ten to the power of negative five. That's gonna be four point three four. That's the second part. Let's do the third part in third part it says calculate the pH of this buffered solution when we have 0 0.08 molar acetic acid and 0 0.2 molar sodium acetate so again the formula is going to remain the same Ka is the same so I can say Ka which is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 equals to that's going to be 0.2 plus x times x divided by 0 0.08 minus x. x and x cancel out. x will be, which is the same as the concentration of hydronium ion, 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 times 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.2. That will be 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So pH will be negative log 7.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6. It's going to be 5.14. Now the fourth part of this question is very similar. The concentration is different. We have Calculate the pH of this buffer solution when we have 0.2 molar of acetic acid and 0.08 molar of sodium acetate, which again is going to be same Ka, 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 equals to 0.08 plus x times x divided by 0.2 minus x. These two cancel out, and we have X, which is the same as hydronium ion concentration, equals to 0.2 times 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5, divided by 0.08. That's going to give you 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5. So pH will be negative log. 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5. That will be 4.34. So, we calculated pH of these four different solutions. Let me show you something very interesting. The pH of part A and C are the same and pH of the part B and D are the same for example A and C if I show you here the pH for part A was 5.14 and part C was 5.14 as well I know the concentration is different but the ratio of concentration for the acid and its conjugate base is the same so since the ratio of acid to base or base to acid is the same the pH will remain the same. We can see the same trend in part B and D as well. In part B, 
it was 4.34 and part D it was 4.34 as well because the ratio was the same. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Thank you for watching and have a great day.